Hello, I'm Professor Mike Wells from the Division of Emergency Medicine at the University of the Witwatersrand. In this short video we're going to show you how to use the Pauper XL tape as well as the Pauper XL MAC method. But perhaps first we need to spend a couple of minutes talking about why there was the need to change from the Pauper tape. So why was there a need for the Pauper tape to evolve to the Pauper XL tape? Well, there were three main reasons that we found um, after studying the pulpit tape. The first was that the original pulpit tape wasn't long enough to provide weight estimations for all children. Secondly, it couldn't provide accurate weight estimations for very obese children. And thirdly, the habitus assessment was a little subjective and didn't translate well between populations. For that reason, the new pulpit XL tape was designed to address some of these limitations. The Pauper XL tape is printed on a multi-use paper and is slightly larger and obviously longer than the original tape. On the flip side of the Pauper XL tape is the Pauper XL MAC information. So both these methods are available on a single tape. So let's talk about how we use this device. We will demonstrate the techniques in the supine child as well as in the semi-recumbent and the seated child. We will also demonstrate the techniques using one and two people. So let's begin with the Pauper XL tape. We will first demonstrate how this technique is used with one person in a supine child. In this video, the tape is being shown used on the opposite side of the child to the investigator. It would normally be used on the same side so the tape can be clearly seen. Align the start of the pauper XL tape with the top of the child's head. Ensure you're using the side that says measure from this line. Stretch the pauper XL tape down the side of the child's body. Do not follow the contours of the body but rather keep it straight. Take note of where the pauper XL tape crosses the child's heel. This child falls into the 30 kg ideal body weight segment in the green colour zone. An important part of the pauper methodology is to adjust the weight estimation according to the child's body habitus. The pauper XL tape has a companion figure reference image guide to assist with this. This child matches the habitus score 2 images. The pauper XL adjusted body weight is therefore 28 kilograms for this child with a habitus score of 2. The two person technique is essentially the same. One healthcare provider can hold the tape at the top of the child's head while the senior healthcare provider reads off the weight where the tape crosses the child's heel. The seated technique can be used if the child cannot be positioned supine. Align the start of the tape with the child's head and follow the angle of the child's body. The weight is read off where the tape crosses the child's heel as before. The semi-recumbent two-person technique is essentially the same. One healthcare provider can hold the tape at the top of the child's head while the senior healthcare provider reads off the weight where the tape crosses the child's heel. We will now describe how to use the Pauper XL MAC method. The first step of the Pauper XL MAC method is exactly the same as the Pauper XL method. The tape is aligned with the child's head and heel in the same manner as before and the segment where the tape crosses the child's heel is identified. Position the child's arm flexed at 90 degrees. Using the ruler on the tape, measure from the below the acromion to the olecranon and find the midpoint of the arm. 
straighten the arm and measure the mid-arm circumference using the ruler on the Pauper XL tape. Ensure the tape is in contact with the skin all the way around the arm, but is not too tight. The mid-arm circumference for this child was 190 millimeters. Reading off the Pauper XL tape, she therefore falls into a habit of score of 2 because her mid-arm circumference was between 179 and 194 millimeters. Her adjusted total body weight is therefore 28 kilograms. The first step of the seated technique for the Pauper XL MAC method is exactly the same as for the Pauper XL method. The tape is aligned with the child's head and the heel in the same manner as before and the segment where the tape crosses the child's heel is identified. Position the child's arm flexed at 90 degrees. Using the ruler on the tape, measure from below the acromion to the lecronon and find the midpoint of the arm. Ensure the tape is in contact with the skin all the way around the arm, but is not too tight. Straighten the arm and measure the mid-arm circumference using the ruler on the Pauper XL tape. Find the mid-arm circumference habitus adjusted weight as before. 